Tranquilo, Romeo, at the Delta Contact and ground. Wait 2554, you turn left on course, runway 36, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 36, turn left on course, 82554. Georgetown Towers, Sirius 344 Delta Golf is uh, five miles to the uh, east, uh, west inbound for 36. The chair would have me go way out. Is yep. that what you do? Okay. Short field, use all available runway. Seating them uh, midfield for left on wind 36. Do don't actually runway. hit the lights. Yeah, I'm not going to hit them. <laughs> Georgetown Tower, 891 is a two mile right base. 81891, Georgetown Tower, runway 36, clear the land. Clear the land, runway 36, 891. Now, what speed are we supposed to be climbing out at? 76. That's for, um, so if we're doing short field, it'll need to be out done at VX. Remember what VX is? Yeah, VX is 64. Yep. And if I, do, I did 64 at the beginning. Uh, you rotated at 64, but you didn't oh. climb out at 64. And in oh. fact, it looked like for a second you were trying to level off. And uh, if anything, that means that you're mixing up uh, shorts and softs. Okay. So, for short field, as you take off, you need to be holding... Uh, Basically, uh, 64 as you go. Oh, okay, yeah. I must have maxed that out. Delta Golf, just a heading of 120. You'll be following a uh, PA-28 turning about a mile final. I will turn to 120 for Fort Delta Golf. November 82554, contact Austin Approach, 119.0. Contacting Austin Approach, 119.0, 82554. Have it, uh, 3027. Then go with it. I'll wait till I get up and then traffic inside. Go down for 25 Yeah, I see it. Austin Approach, Archer 82554, with you at 1,900. Point seven one two five Fox. Turn that up. Yeah, they may not pick you up yet. Yeah, sometimes you got to get up about 3,000. Uh, typically it's above 2,000, as a general rule of thumb, because we are uh, out there. Okay. Hey, go ahead, contact. Tricky 4 2 whiskey contact George down there. 4 2 whiskey. Okay, anyone for Trevor, you're falling into Georgetown at your 12 o'clock, and about 4 miles in Cherokee, descending at a 4,200. Okay, I've got one of the fish behind here, we'll look at the traffic, and uh, we're going to be number 2 in Georgetown. Hey, one more. Austin Approach, Archer 82554, with you at 2,800. Archer 82554, I'm sorry, I did Are you ident on this? Transponder? Transponder. And then I did Archer 82554, Austin, out of here. 82554, we just ident it. Oh, sorry, thanks, sir. I did observe, got your contact two miles to the west of Georgetown. Austin, I'll 3027, you can proceed on course for uh, Fredericksburg. Yeah. Proceed on course, 82554. Four off Delta to maintain 5,000. 5,000, four off Delta. First 739 hotel, so we're going to go uh, west down about five. What heading do we need to be on? We're going to be on 247. Uh, you guys are back in, Okay. Roger, 9 hotel. So.
Officer Approach, Skyhawk 826, zero whiskey, UFG 7000. Sorry, who is that? 826 Zero Whiskey. 826 Zero Whiskey, Austin Approach, Austin Altimeter 3027. Say destination. 3027 for 826 Zero Whiskey. Uh, final destination, David Wayne Hooks, but we're going to do a practice approach at College Station first. All right, thank you. Austin Approach, Driller 18, half for 10,000. Driller 18, Austin Approach, Austin Altimeter 3027. 027, Driller 18. Driller 18, Center Maintain, 6,000. 6,000, Driller 18. Five kilo kilo traffic at your eleven o'clock and about four miles southbound three thousand Cessna one seventy two. Uh seven three five kilo kilo we'll keep an eye out. I'm at two thousand five hundred plan on staying right here. Uh seven three five kilo kilo. Thank you. Cessna two November Delta traffic at your eleven o'clock and about three miles coming over the city two thousand five hundred A skyline. I have traffic tied five one two November Delta. Bonanza 6, Julia Bravo, contact approach one two zero point eight seven. One two zero eight seven six Julia Bravo. Five kilo kilo kilo. Previous call traffic got you in sight. Very good, sir. Seven three five kilo kilo. Skyline eight one four. Contact Georgetown Tower. Go on, Georgetown eight one four. Altitude again for driller. One eight. Driller one eight down to six thousand. So maintain six thousand. Six thousand driller one eight. Approach Columbia two three four Alpha Delta. Three three four Alpha Delta. Good. Uh, we'd like to go ahead and cancel the IFR. 234F Delta IFR cancellation received. Do you want to uh, keep flight on? Nah, we're fine. Thanks. 4F Delta. 234F Delta, Roger Radar Service terminated. School Hawk VFR for exchange approved. Have a good one. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. You too. Okay. First checkpoint. I did not start my stopwatch though. Okay. I'm gonna start it now. See if we're on for dead reckoning. Next checkpoint is Lago. The Skyhawk, 19 miles west of the field at 2,500, requesting the normal route one mile south of the Air Force. Pipeline 21 Squawk 0210. 0210, two, pipeline 21. So, what power setting are we supposed to be at? Creeped back up. I thought it was 23, right? And then we lean, right, lean and fuel pump off. Contact 7 miles south of Lakeway, Austin, Altimeter 3027. Okay, but this is hex 3027, five, five, one. But, uh, two, November, what RPM should we be at? What's that? What RPM should we be at for your planning purposes? What altitude? Uh, RPM, for your planning purposes. It was 75% power. Okay, what is 75% power? Isn't that... 22 or 23? At your discretion. Okay. Don't forget that, that you got you to pay attention to that chart as well. Okay. Just keep flying, keep doing everything. All right, well, just... <laughs> so don't forget, this is the biggest one that people always forget exists. They forget that this one exists, and they forget that... Uh, 4,500. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Uh, four three nine five four Austin departure. I did. I did for nine five four. Remember this chart. And approach nine hotel. So we're direct Austin. Okay. Best power setting. Engine speed and RPM. Let's see Niner what. Hotel, so things are proceeding on course for executive. On course to executive nine hotel. So. Uh, see this one doesn't have. Oh yeah, it does. Let's see, what is that? Uh, uh, 8 degrees Celsius. Driller 18 contact. San Antonio approach 128.05. Good morning. Or, I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. That's what I meant to say. Hi, 2805. Merry Christmas, Driller 18. Hello, departure Costera 2687. Uh, 2100 climbing 4000 heading 350. 
2687 Austin Departure, radar contact. It's climb and maintain 1 2000. You're going to want to be at 2550. Test Niner Hotel. 2550 for the RPMs. Over Tower Squad to VFR, Niner Hotel. See Sears 9 Tango Whiskey, a traffic pass on for your left side, a uh, Cessna 4500. We got the Cessna inside, 9 Tango Whiskey. Tango Whiskey, thanks, sir. That's near the red line. Yep. That's there, 2687, turn left, 10 and 2. That's 75%? Yep. Okay. So otherwise your uh, planning right. isn't going to be correct. Two miles the biggest thing is, you notice you're climbing right now, right? Yeah. So maintain it down, forward trim, keep it down. All right. Now. As you speed up, your RPM is going to creep forward, so you're going to probably need a little bit more back. Church 9 Tango Whiskey, contact Georgetown Tower. Georgetown Tower, uh, yeah, that's a frequency for us. Yes, sir, uh, Georgetown Tower is on. Yeah, whenever I did my cross countries with... with Not English. Jarrett, we always did like 2,300. There's a chart in there for a reason. What's the point of doing all that time, that all that time planning and the fuel planning if it's not going to be accurate? Yeah. Okay. Now, what did you have for your ground speed on here? 115. You can see we're pulling around uh, 118 right now. Okay. And again, you may have to slow, you may have to constantly kind of creep it back or mess with the throttle just a very slight amount. Um, as you're flying, just uh, basically find that fine-tuned area where it starts getting us, uh, well, nice. Cherokee 954, traffic at your uh, 11 to 12 o'clock and about four miles inbound for Georgetown to Sears, descending at a 5,500. That's our course searching for traffic. I think I see Lago. You don't? Oh, you I do. do. Okay. Yes, good, good, good. 5.21 contact approach, 125.32. Okay, that's 2532, 5.21. I've never landed there. Oh, really? It's a really cool airport, especially when you're landing to the south. When you land to the north, it's nothing special. But right to the south of it, that's where the hill do drops off. No factor. So as you take off, it's really cool because you literally see the ground drop out below you and off your right, you get to see the uh, uh, Lake Travis kind of pop up in front of you and to your right. It's, it's really nice. It's my favorite airport around here. It's a short runway though, right? It's a short and, well, fairly short. I think it's only, uh, yeah, how short is the runway? Yep. So it's not that bad. It's only around uh, 200 feet shorter than, uh, is it? No. 300 feet sh shorter than a 1129 and uh, just a little bit shorter than uh, Taylor. The big thing is it's narrower. It's narrower. -er. And Taylor? Narrower. Yeah. Well, wow. it's, 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 it's really narrow here. I think Taylor is 75 and this I think is... Yeah, it's 50 feet wide. I think I can already see Spicewood, but we're not up abreast to it. Yeah, um, well, that's good. Keep in time. So how long should it take for us to get there? Four and a half minutes from Lago. Okay. Hello, Austin. Departure Delta 1281, uh, 2200, climbing 4000. Delta 1281, Austin departure, radar contact, climb and maintain at 1 2000. Climb 1 2000, Delta 1281. Delta 1281, clear direct Delta, you traffic at your 10 o'clock and about 4 miles over the city, 2500 to Skyway. Okay, clear direct LOL and we'll look for uh, Sky West, Delta 1281. Two five five four contact Houston Center one three four point two. Contact Houston Center one three four point two eight two five five four.
Houston Center, Archer 82554 with you at 4,500. November 82554, Houston Center, the uh, San Antonio Seminary 3026. 3026, 3026, 8554. American 1818, contact Houston Center on uh, 128.65. 2865, good day, American 1818. Yeah. Delta 2237, clear direct to Abilene. Delta Delta 1281, 8,500, climbing 1, 2,000. Delta 1281, Houston Center, climbing 10, level 230. Climbing level 230, Delta 1281. November 33, Lemmy Uniform, Houston Center, Squawk 7366. Coast Area 2687, contact Houston Center, 128.65. 128.65, uh, 2687, thank you. Houston Center, 516 Tanker Charlie's with you, level 6500. November 9th, 67 Alpha Alpha, Houston Center, uh, Roger, standby. Who else checked in? November 516 Tango Charlie, level. About 30 seconds off. Okay, but you got it lined up and it's right there. Charlie Houston Center, yep. the, uh, let's see, Austin Altimeter 3027. November 7, Alpha Alpha, Squawk 2515. Horseshoe Bay, five and a half minutes. Three, let me okay. You did say you were in the air, correct? All right, I should pick you up shortly. I love looking at airports from above. I always like it whenever... It, it, it's kind of interesting to see a lot of times whenever like you can't see it from one angle, but the second you line up with it, it's clear as day. Yeah, it's always fun showing that to students too. Because thank you. November eight zero Delta contact Austin approach on one one nine point zero. One one nine point zero eight five eight zero Delta. Southwest forty eight zero eight contact uh, Houston Center on one three two point four. November 7, Alpha Alpha, contact sent on approach on 125.7. Who checked in down 24? Got it, Alaska, Alaska, 1048, follow 240. Alaska, 1048, Houston Center, descend via the lakes to arrival, landing north. The Austin altimeter is uh, 3027, more than our world. Okay, it's in about lakes to arrival, landing north for Alaska, 1048. Center, Frontier Flight 1910, descending out of 25 and a half to 240. Frontier 1910, Houston Center, descend via the lakes to arrival, landing north, the Austin Altimeter 3027, morning, now world. Okay, uh, we'll descend via the lakes to landing north, Frontier 1910. November 6, Hotel Papa, change to my frequency 132.35. 3235, 6 out of Papa. Control aircraft has further information, Air Matango update 4 for turbulence and low level wind shear, Air Matango update 6 uh, for the same, 
Texas Airways here, update 6, for weather. That's for Texas running states, Fable High West Flight Service. Right on it. Yep. Calculations are good. You're right. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if you're going to do the calculations, you got to make sure you fly right. Yeah. 2865 Delta 1281. Merry Christmas. Two, yeah. And I think I see the airport, but it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I mean, just keep an eye on that spot. When we line up with it, it should be more November, available. Golf, contact sense on approach 125.7. I mean, where is it in relation to that lake? It's on this side, like, yeah. kind of in the middle. I think that's it, where the clearing is. I mean, does it make sense in relation to the map? November 00, zero gone. Um, Contact on approach, 125.7. Yeah. Okay. Well, then let's get a little bit closer and see if we can just, you know, make sure, double check. November three zero like, fly over there or keep going? What? You keep, keep going, right? Yeah, keep going. Yeah. I mean, it may be the airport, it may not be. May just be another clearing that looks like it. 300 Golf, Houston, heading here. I mean, yeah, just always when you're using the map, try and pull in multiple resources. We got the lake there, it's in the right spot. Should be a north uh, south runway. Yep. Make sure that we've got everything. Landing north, the Alpha Altimeter 3026. Send me the lakes to arrival landing north. Oh, yeah, I see it. Uh, I thought it was closer to the water. November 300 Golf, Houston Center. That's right there. Yep. And we are exactly five and a half minutes. Archer 439054 with you, level 4500. Archer 439054, Houston Center, the altimeter 3026. 3026, Oh, I wonder if that's Christine. Sounds like Christine. Can we do a uh, short fill takeoff here as well? Uh, yeah, we're going to do actually probably a lap in the pattern or so at some point. Okay. So make sure you get them right. Hello, Houston, Southwest 4824. 10 8 for 1 2000. Southwest uh, 4824, Houston Center, clear direct to driver. And Clement maintains flight level 230. Yep. One of the things you just realized there, you add it in a little bit of power, but you never put any forward trim in. Yeah, you're right. So what ends up happening is you get a little bit of a climb. Yeah. But you're doing the good thing to get back in. You just nose it down, flying down, and once we get back to 4,005, you just hold that for a bit. I like that. Good correction. Aircraft has weather information Air Missoula at day four for icing for Texas running states federal and Hollis flight service frequencies. Last Air 972 is trying to begin my descent from 11500. Roger. The altitude got away from me a little like that on the check ride. Will he fail me? Uh, probably not. Uh, uh, basically, the thing that they're checking in cross countries, it's that you're not going to get lost. Um, if you get off like that and fix it, then no. In fact, that's just kind of more. But, I mean, you're, you're BFR, you're not instrument. But right. at the same point, yeah, you corrected it, came back down. Yep. Now, if you're like wildly off, like, you know, 500 feet and it just keeps bouncing, then yeah, there's probably some issues there. But if you get like 200 feet off like that, and you just fix it and get back down and retrim out the plane, that's perfectly fine. I mean, it's, it's going to happen. So we're uh, about nine minutes away now from LBJ. Okay. Going to be off to our left. Southwest 5309 out of 25.3, 10.240. Southwest 5309, Houston Center, descend via the lakes to arrival, landing uh, north, the Elson Altimeter 3026. Send via lakes to go north, 296, Southwest 5309. Let's see, what did you have the winds as? Me? Yeah. I had them at 300 at 10. 
300 at 10. Let's see what do we got. We got 295 at 12. Basically oh. 300 at 12. Wow. Hey, this nifty. Yeah, that's nice. So this, is there an indicator that's reading that? Or, what, or is it picking it up from ADSB? It's pulling from your, uh, basically your uh, G5 there. Because with the G5, it's got your wind correction angle right there. Because it's showing you your track and, or I guess, what you're flying and what your heading is. Right. And when you combine that with the outside air temperature over there, you can just go into here, utilities, uh, your airspeed, you put in the put in the temperature, and automatically does it. Like now we got three three zero at ten, so it can be kind of ridiculous, but yeah. Center one six golf. Remember it's decent there. Far with you, and we'll continue VFR flight following with the maneuvers. Center one six golf. Remember cancellation received. Maintain VFR. Yeah. I mean, I actually wonder how much that would cost. I mean, number one, you got to clear all that area. You got to level it. Well, then again, probably don't have to level much out here. But actually, you know, it's, it's getting hilly. Um, maintain two nine or zero knots or greater. Two nine or greater, go to four zero eight. Southwest fifty three zero nine. Maintain getting ahead of the game. Getting ready for weather. Okay. I'll probably go ahead and see if I can pick it up now. Maintain two nine or zero knots or less until late, and then you can resume normal speed. Four. Two nine or less to late, then normal speed south of 53 on us. Center sky 6640, one, two, three hundred, Clement, one, three thousand. Automated weather observation, two, one, zero, two. Skyway 6640, Houston Center. Uh, one, zero, I'll maintain protocol two, three, zero, and your clear directed boomer. One. Yeah, so what is that knob for? I don't know. One of them's for COM2 and one's for COM1, right? Nope. Uh, first off, the inside is the squelch. If okay. I open mine all the way up, Okay. No, actually, no. The bottom, the middle one is squel uh, volume, and uh, so <laughs> the, the the smaller one is volume, and the outside one is squelch. Okay. Gillespie County Airport. Automated weather observation. Two one zero two. Zulu weather. Wind three one zero at Niner. Visibility one zero. Oh wait, does this not have a squelch? Clear below one two thousand. Temperature one six. Celsius, dew point minus five, altimeter three zero two. Alaska five. 1048, contact off and approach one one nine point zero. Traffic for runway three two. If call three zero two five, should I go ahead and change it or wait? What do you mean? Uh, it's just one tick off. Yeah. I know I used it as a check, but honestly, I've never been able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's a pretty big airport. It's a big runway. Skywest 5640, contact Houston Center. We'll have to see when we can find it. And if we actually see it, I'll know what to look for now. Yeah. About three minutes away.
Houston, Alaska 87, 7000 for 12000. Alaska 87, Houston Center, call me today, follow 230. Let me take 230, Alaska 87. Oh, I see it. Yep. Right you, off the wing. Yep. You can see how it's not really that clear. Yeah. But, uh... Kind of yep. really blends in. Yeah, you really got to be looking for it. You got to know where it's at. Because you can't even just look for a clearance. It's literally just a... Skywest 5408, you can resume uh, public speeds at Lake. Contact off approach on 119.0. All right, we're seven and a half minutes speeds away from at Lake the 82. I'm going to go ahead and pull back power. Yeah. And we're going to do a teardrop entry okay. for runway 32 because of the winds. And the teardrop's at 3695. November 554. There's one target out there about the 10 southeast of Fredericksburg, 4400. Pattern altitude is 2695. Are, uh, I'm sorry, they're southwest of Fredericksburg and they're northeast bound kind of towards the airport. That's all I got for you. Squad VFR, change divisor, for see approved. Good day. That us? Yep. Frequency approved. Have a good day. A two five five four. Okay. So what did he just tell you? Uh, there's some traffic. Where at? Houston King Air two zero zero Tango Golf with you two four zero. November two zero zero Tango Golf. He's above Houston us. Center across Cal to maintain seven thousand. The altitude. Okay. I thought you heard that because uh, you stopped talking for a second when he said five five four. Yeah. And then you started talking again, so it confused me. Number one, what do you just? Okay. Let's do what he said. Yep. Southwest 5309, contact Austin Approach on 119.0. Okay. Yeah. 0, southwest. Basically, he tells us that there was a, some traffic to the southwest of the airport right. and that they were heading uh, northbound. Yep. That guy. Right. Basically, he told us that that's what we've got going on. At first, I wasn't sure it was us. I thought he said 954. But then I was like, no, wait, he's got to be talking to us because we're getting close. He's going to. Cancel our flight following. November 6, Hotel Papa, contact San Angelo Approach 125.35. Yeah. All right, so now I need to go to. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, 10 miles to the east, inbound for landing. Going to do a teardrop entry for runway 32. Gillespie traffic. Now, uh, one thing I do recommend that you do is always tell the, uh, basically told that you plan to overfly the field and teardrop in, which is good. But I'd also include an altitude so they know what altitude to look for. Okay. Because uh, not... All private pilots are the safest private pilots. In fact, I've seen it numerous times where they do teardrops at pattern altitude. Um, so, yeah, keep that's that in dangerous. Mind. Yeah. So it's. Lefty County traffic, Bonanza 2 at Never Center, your left down wind 3 2, Lefty County. Basically, be as clear as you can because other people are stupid. So you want to make sure at the very least they know what you're doing, even if you don't know what they're doing. Right.
Probably should have just rounded, right? Yeah, 36, 95, 37. What do you mean, for? The altitude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gets kind of confusing when you go down to that level. Uh, well, yeah, you're trying to hold, like, plus or minus one foot, yeah. I mean, that just doesn't get confusing, it becomes impossible. Yeah. I mean, even plus or minus 10 feet now. Plus or minus 20 now. Maybe you can do plus or minus 50, you can get away with that, but... Anything else is kind of a pipe dream without autopilot. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, six miles to the east, inbound for a teardrop entry for runway 32 at 3,600. Oops, 3,700. Yeah, it's close enough. They know you know. They know you know we're near the uh, traffic pattern. Okay, when we land, we're going to do a short field landing. Okay. Now, I don't know how Trent did it with you, but we are simulating a short field. Um, that means that you need to touch down in a certain spot or else you're going around. Right. Do not go long. If you're going to go long, you go around. The only way you could possibly fail this maneuver is if your wheels touch. So, if you're not going to make it, don't let your wheels touch. Uh, if they touch before, you have if like they touch before, if you if you if you're going if you're floating too long, go around. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, you have like 200 feet, right? Yep. And the thousand foot markers, the big white boxes, are 150. So if you're going to use the uh, thousand foot markers, then you land inside the thousand foot markers. If you're not going to land inside them, go around. Okay. So you use the beginning. I always shoot for the middle of them. Nope. Nope. You um, use use the beginning. The, the beginning is going to be the most accurate because that's the best place you can do it. If you're planning, if you're training for accuracy, that's 150 feet inside those boxes. Touchdown inside those boxes. Okay, gotcha. Skylord traffic advanced to 101 Bravo Bravo, five miles to the south. Straight in, landing zero one. Skylord to the south. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, two miles to the east. Inbound for runway 32, teardrop entry at 3,600. Someone taxiing. Good, good, good. Holding short right now. All over the field when I get there. Uh, Archer in down to Lusty County. Can you state your intentions again? Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, over the field for a teardrop entry to runway 32 at 3,600. Okay, this, this is Bonanza 2 and we're going to be departing 32, we'll do a straight out departure. Have you in sight, Bonanza, Archer 82554.
Okay, he's taken off. Should be no factor. Is that an okay teardrop? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely fine. Why, do you think it could have been better? Um, I felt like it was pretty good. <laughs> I felt I got a little close. Yeah, I don't think so, I don't think so at all. If anything, I'd say you're still pretty far. Yeah, no, that was a perfectly fine teardrop. Thanks. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, left midfield downman for runway 32, full stop, Gillespie traffic. Okay, guys, remember, short field landing. All right. Lefty traffic, Archer 82554, turning base for runway 32 for a full stop, Gillespie traffic. There's a plane on the taxiway. Yep. He's going to hold short. Well, we'll see. Worst case scenario, we just have to go around. I think well, that's not worst case scenario, but you know that's what that's what it happened. Gillespie traffic, Archer eight two five five four, turning final for runway three two. Gillespie traffic. Okay, it makes you full rich. Pump on. Oh, yeah. And uh, how long have we been flying for? What's that? How long have we been flying for? Um, I reset my thing, sorry. We've been flying close to what we said. It was about 36, 37 minutes. I had to reset it because I had messed something up on it. Okay. But I think I reset it around the 18. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, short final, runway 32, full stop, Gillespie traffic. I know it was a little harder, but yeah, I kind of yeah. wanted to... I know you wanted to land. You wanted, wanted to get down. I wanted to get down. Should I have just gone, gone around? Yeah, I mean, you, could, you put it down, and that almost would have passed. Oh. You would have failed, though. You know why? Why? Flaps out, back pressure, and simulated break, or breaking. Let's get off on Bravo here. That technically would have made it. Wasn't the prettiest, came hard, but don't forget your after landing technique. One thing I would have done is I would have entered ground effect a little bit sooner and then just basically messed with power so that way I can kind of drop it down whenever. Why don't we try it again? Let's then. Just, or do you, want oh, you, want, you want to go try it again? Let's go try it again. Yeah. Go ahead and let them know that you're taxing back to 3 2. Right. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, taxiing back to runway 3 2. Gillespie traffic.
Angles for traffic, Scott 2481 Lima, be departing uh, 3 I didn't know you take the flops out on a short field. South they, he, he never had me take the flops out before. Short field technique, we want as much weight on the wheels as possible. So what it'll do is basically having those flaps in increases our lift, which decreases our... Uh, uh, so the where, do you, on the wheels. where do you take the flaps out? Immediately, once you touch down, flaps out. And then, ideally, you'll be doing back pressure and braking. So that way you can, again, get as much weight on the main wheels as possible and keep it off the nose wheel. Right. But, uh, I mean, you're not going to do a wheelie because it's, you know, like when you brake in your car, you swing forward. Right. That same kind of thing. We're just trying to avoid as much weight on the nose wheel as possible. So that's why you get the back pressure in. Oh, don't. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh no, it, All right. Don't do two things at once. So let's be driving two Fox Charlie's departing pattern to the southeast. Okay, so we're gonna do more shorts. Okay. Now, another thing. We technically didn't land in the in the thousand foot markers, we landed just past them. You would have passed for the two hundred standard. But at the same point, we were coming in fast. You had that, like, land. You had that need to land. Watch that. <laughs> okay. If, if it's not looking right, if it's not setting up right, don't force it down that hard like that. Rolls because County, you never know. You really don't want a nose wheel uh, landed first. And that was... I was actually wondering if we were going to do that or not. But, uh, really? yeah. Because we had it come down pretty fast, and you kind of forced it down. You managed to land on the mains, basically, you know, a little bit flat, but still a little bit hard. Okay. Sure. But, uh, yeah, if it's not all looking right, just go around. Don't be afraid to go around. I'll even say, when I do these, uh, what I do is uh, I try to enter ground effect at around the uh, numbers because then it gives me more time to kind of mess with uh, power and stuff like that. So that way at the last minute I can just chop it and drop it. Okay. I know uh, Jarrett taught it like... Uh, second line or something like that, and then you just power off and coast it in. Right. I like to go a little bit farther so, uh, so that way I have a little bit more control, because that way I know I'm going to make it regardless of wins. Okay. Gillespie County traffic, Harvey Nanaray, my Bravo, seven and a half miles out, coming in from the southeast for 3-2 Gillespie. All right, he's seven and a half miles out, so are we good? Uh, yeah. See him either? Yep. Don't know what he's doing, but... I don't think he's landing. Might not be. Might be. Should we wait? Let's see what he does. Yeah. He didn't give a uh, turn base call. We'll see if he gives a... Uh, let's see if he turns final. But I don't think he gave a uh, single call going out. Yeah, he didn't. I think he's headed out. Yep, it looks like he's heading out. Okay, we right. go ahead. Call first before you go. Right. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, holding short runway 32, about to take off for uh, pattern work. Gillespie traffic. Gillespie traffic, 9 or 8 Mike Bravo on a 4.5 mile right base for a 32. Gillespie. You hear where he is and what he's doing? Yeah. Is that traffic He's holding that short way. of 3 2 for Gillespie, waiting for the one that just called out. 9 or 8, my Bravo. Short field takeoff, right? Yep. Gillespie County traffic, Columbia 8 2 Mike, taxiing from the ramp to runway 3 2, Gillespie County. Gillespie County traffic, 9 or 8, my Bravo, turning on the for 3 2, Gillespie. So rotate at 64, right? And keep it at 64. So 516 okay. Charlie's, uh, six, uh, correction, five and a half miles northeast of the field. I'll be entering a Granted, if, it, if it's trying to come up, just let it up. There you go. Don't get too slow, though. Look at your airspeed. Yeah, yeah. The standard is uh, plus 10, minus 5 on the speed. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay. Uh, we're good over the 100, so am I good now? Yeah, it's a 50-foot obstacle. Okay, better. That's what we're looking for. Now, I do have a question, though. Whenever you um, hold in the brakes doing full throttle, what are you waiting on? 
I don't know. I thought it, you were supposed to do that. You are supposed to do that, but both times it seems like you're just like pausing and not looking at anything. Um, the big thing is what we want to do is we want to make sure our RPMs have stabilized. Make sure okay. that they're all the way max and they're not going anymore. And you can also check your uh, gauges. Make sure that you've still got that you've got good oil pressure and good uh, fuel pressure and stuff like that. But the big thing I'd say is you want to look and see that your RPMs have stabilized. Okay. Let's be traffic. Nine or eight, my Bravo short final three two. Be doing a uh, uh, touch and go. Stay in the pattern. Uh, missed exactly where he was at in that one. He's on the short final. Okay, good. Yeah, did you t did you get how he entered the traffic pattern? Yeah, on base. A four mile right base. Right. So from the completely opposite direction yeah, as the rest of the traffic. Right. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554. Left downwind for uh, full stop, runway 32. Gillespie traffic. So again, the big thing behind all this. Gillespie traffic, 9 or 8, my Bravo is on the upwind 432, remaining in the pattern. A lot of times people think that they don't do things the right way. So you better make sure that you do the things the right way, because that's what people are going to expect you to be. So when you do have people come in like that, come in kind of all needless, because they want to do it the fastest way possible, make sure you make it as clear as possible what you're doing. Right. Twin three, two. Yeah, we could have done that, and we didn't. We came in and did the teardrop. Which is the correct way to enter. That is Curvo the... Curvo traffic, 516 Tango Charlie's downwind for zero 03. Curvo. That is the way that the uh, FAA wants it done. That's the way the advisory well, circular does it done. Bravo, turning left down one, four, three, if there's an five, incident, guess what? That guy's losing his license, you're not. In fact, it's been shown before that that's actually happened. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, turning left base for runway 32, full stop, Gillespie traffic. Kerrville traffic, 516 Tango Charlie's, left base for 03, Kerrville. Gillespie County traffic, Columbia 82 Mike, taking runway 32, departure to the east, got the traffic on base in sight, Gillespie County. Okay. Gillespie traffic, oh, right. my Bravo, turning left base, 432, Gillespie. Oh no. You see him over there? Turbo traffic, 516, Tango Charlie. Go ahead and give your... Where is he? Go ahead and give your call. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, turning final for oh, runway 32. Gillespie traffic. Yeah, he's over there. Calling us in. I'm high, I was... Yep. Getting a little distracted by everything that was going on. Gillespie traffic, RV Nanray, my Bravo turning final 432, Gillespie. He's like right on our ass. Yep. Can we just go around? I don't know, he'll go around if he has to. Gillespie County, Skyline 956 Echo Sierra, 10 miles to the east, we'll be crossing midfield for left downwind for 32 Gillespie. Gillespie traffic, 9 or 8, my Bravo on short, final 432, Gillespie. Aircraft on the runway, Gillespie, are you go, uh, staying in the pattern? Full, Full stop. stop. Roger that, thanks a lot. Okay. It also helps if you, if you land without power. Um, okay. That way you don't float as long, and then you don't have to force it down as bad. Right. So, do that next time. Stuff on Bravo.
Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, five clear of runway 32. All right, let's go. Park. Gillespie County okay. traffic, King Air 708, Romeo Kilo. We can talk. And we yeah. are yeah. 7 east. We're level at 5,000. We have the traffic. Uh, it's also east and also traffic just off of Fredericksburg. We're going to overfly midfield for a left downwind and uh, for 3-2, uh, and that's for Gillespie County. Gillespie County traffic, Manta Ray, my Bravo on upwind of 3-2, staying in the pattern. Gillespie traffic, Skyline 220 is taking in uh, runway 3-2. Gillespie traffic, Skyline 9 or 5 six, Echo Sierra, six miles to the east. Uh, we'll follow the King Air in. He's a lot faster than I am. Roger, guys, we appreciate it. Yeah, we're doing about 220 knots this time. We're going to descend down to 3,200 to enter the traffic pattern for uh, Gillespie County. Uh, like we're going to be able to see. Put this on there, yeah. Nicholas County traffic says 514 kilo now crossing midfield, uh, left traffic running away, 3 2. That yeah. was Glovesby. We'll, we'll let him land then, right? Left traffic, he said now crossing midfield. What do you think? Why don't you go ahead and call him? If you want to wait for him, go ahead and call him and tell him that you hold short. Yeah, I'll hold short. Glovesby traffic, Archer 82554, holding short, runway 3 2, waiting for landing traffic, Art, uh, Gillespie traffic. If you're waiting for me across the midfield, I'm going to do a descending gear drop to join the 45 for left traffic on 3-2. Uh, there he is. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and go then, right? Yeah. Gillespie traffic, A2, Archer A2554. We'll go ahead and uh, proceed on course then. Take off runway 3-2. Gillespie traffic. Okay. So it's off right. field takeoff. Off field takeoff. All the second way you back. cross, yeah. The okay. second you cross that hold short line, it's going to be all the way back. All the way back, and then I let off as we. Yep. Not really using any brakes. So get off the brakes. Yep. There you go. Just keep. Okay. There you go. Okay. Nose down. Nose down. Nose down. Yep. Yep. So yeah. Okay. So a bit above ground effect. Yeah. So nose down a little bit earlier. But the climb out on the forty five left track. The first part was a little bit fun. Three two left. First notch flaps. Positive rate. Second notch, positive rate. Yeah, it came up quicker than I thought it would. I was expecting to be going a little bit faster yeah, than four five five four five kilo left down at three two. Left. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna need to practice those. Yeah. Falcon triple one whiskey whiskey. We're showing eleven out to the east. Uh, we'll be on the GPS uh, three two approach and uh, be looking for the traffic. Okay. All right. We can go ahead and depart to the northeast and kind of head out in that general direction. Gillespie traffic, Archer 82554, departing Gillespie from runway 32 to the northeast, Gillespie traffic. Okay. So, yeah. So, right now, I, I think uh, I do want to do a day with you with shorts and soft so we can, number one, get in the way of that. Yeah. Well, I like how we get you a little bit of. Kilo now turning left base 32, Gillespie. More into the figure. Okay, we'll go ahead and climb up to at least 3,500 as we head out to this area. And we'll start with uh, all of our maneuvers and stuff. Gillespie County traffic says 514 about kilo now turn to final runway 32 Gillespie. Okay, Gillespie traffic. Bird Dog 534 is holding short runway 32 Gillespie.
Thinking 3,500 all the way. Oh, you can go whatever altitude you want to. You want to go up higher, you can go up higher, but at least up here, we're going to still get a little bit further away before we uh, do any maneuvers. Okay. Straight in, three, two. I'll keep cruise speed in there. Okay. Keep Let's County 5145 Kilo is now uh, clear of the runway taxi. And we're back by 34, still holding short runway 32 for the Bobby. And we're showing uh, Falcon Tribune Whiskey Whiskey, showing a mile and a half straight in 32. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so we got a cruise power setting in. It's pretty neat, decent. Uh, what else should we be doing uh, for cruise? Never really sure exactly. Yeah, we'll keep taking it back until you get a drop. So keep coming back, coming back. There's a drop. That's about it. Yeah. I mean, even if you do take it too far and it really starts to go, the plane will still fly. You can still see that we've still got RPM. We've still got everything. It doesn't okay. sound fun, but yeah. And we can just kind of inch okay. a bit forward. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be nervous. As long okay. as that prop's spinning and we got fuel, the engine will start right back up. Okay. In fact, I mean, hell, you could fly this with full throttle and uh, basically just uh, control your uh, RPMs with mixture if you really wanted. It wouldn't be pretty and it would be fun, but still, <laughs> you could. Yeah. I really wouldn't want to lose an engine here. However, if I did, I mean, yeah, you got plenty of spots off to the right. There's a few spots off to the right. Not too many on the left here. Nope. And we are at kind of a low altitude. A little bit. And right now here, the uh, uh, elevation is about a thousand feet higher than it is at Georgetown. Right. Yeah. Taking on way three two northwest departure, Gillespie. Okay, we've got a decent amount of space with us. And one, one, I want you to go ahead and uh, prep, and I think the first one we're going to be doing is a little bit of slow flight. Slow flight? Yep. Okay. So, want me to do my clearing turns? Yeah, I'm sure, yep. Okay, well, first thing I need to do is... Do you do the clearing turns first, or do you go ahead and uh, do your gumps check? I usually do clearing turns first, because clearing turns are basically when you're in cruise flight. And hey, we're in cruise flight right now, so... Okay, I'll do that. Okay, go to the right first. Okay. Clear, clear to the right. This is 4661 Quebec, entering uh, downwind uh, left leg for landing on 34. Man, we don't need any of this stuff. Okay, I'm going to clear left now. Okay. Now, 
gas, fullest tank, carriage down, fuel mixture, fuel, fuel pump for a maneuver. Now, do we want to go up any higher for slow flight? That's uh, up to you. If you want to climb up to around four or five or four thousand, you can. Okay. That's still a little better being a little higher. Okay, that's perfectly fine as well. Do this at 4,000. Get into slow flight. Okay. 4,000 and around a zero six zero. Okay. Look at your altitude. Yep. There you go. Low flight 60, right? Uh, yep. There you go. No, just hold 3,800. Okay. Now, typically slow flight, you're going to need around uh, 20 RPMs in order to maintain it. Okay. Good to know. And you're doing right. Were well, you trimming it out for 60? I like that. Okay, give me a left turn to the north. Left turn to the north. Keep it at 3,800. Now, how do you control altitude in slow flight? Uh, power. Yep. And you control speed with pitch. You were doing the right thing when you trimmed it out for uh, 60 knots there. That was the right way to do it. Now, another thing. Since uh, usually around 20 RPM is about where the level flight is, that means if you want to descend, you need less than 20, and you want to climb, you need more than 20. Okay. So you're doing about good right now. All right, I'm headed to the north. Okay. Now give me a right turn to zero three zero. Gillespie County traffic, Bonanza 9 or 4, Sierra Sierra is four miles north of the field, overflying midfield, center left. Down okay. okay, now I want you to level off and uh, return to cruise for me. Cruise. Uh, return to cruise flight. Positive rate. Now we don't necessarily need positive rate because we're trying to maintain altitude. Not trying to climb, not trying to descend, just build up airspeed. There we go. Okay, now climb you back up to 4,000 feet. This time, as you set up, don't forget about the flaps. Put the flaps in. Get them in there. Right away. Yeah, I mean, okay. it, it's going to help you slow down, so that way you're not fighting it as much. Right. Because, uh... When you were fighting it so much because you were trying to slow down purely based on a uh, uh, trim and whatnot. That's also why you lost your uh, altitude. Right. Yep. 
Okay. Level off at 4,000, get back in. Okay. Okay. Once you get back to 4,000, let's do it again. I maintain 4,000 in this heading. And don't worry so much about the speed, about the throttle right now. Your throttle's at a per, at, a, at a perfectly fine spot. Don't don't keep messing with it. And Gillespie County traffic, Bonanza Nine or Four Sierra Sierra, turning left base, runway three two, Gillespie County. There we go, much better. It's a lot smoother when you use the flaps to go in. And I don't know if you're waiting for specific air speeds to put them in, but don't worry too much because basically it's... Engaging it's autopilot. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, uh, don't worry about all that stuff. Uh, basically just put in the flaps and you don't need to wait for certain air speeds to put them in. Just if you're in the wide eye, you can drop them in. Don't don't be so wishy-washy with, with, the with the throttle either. So yeah. I always just tell people, blanket statement, you're trying to slow down somewhere between 15 and 17. Doesn't need to be precise. There's no exact RPM you need. The more RPMs you have, the longer it's going to take you to slow down, the more time you're going to have. The lower RPMs, well, the faster you're going to slow down, and you better be on your game. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, you're doing good about very shallow turns. That's what I like. Now, when you do recover, recover with full throttle first, and then take the flaps out one at a time and maintain your altitude. So go ahead, uh, return to cruise. Okay. That's the way I want them done. Basically, hold them, get there, and now just maintain 4,000 feet. Hold? <laughs> yeah, maintain 4,000. Okay. Because, again, we don't want to necessarily climb out. We don't want to do that. So, mainly the biggest thing is you messed up was the uh, setup. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let me see some. Uh, let's see some stalls. Stalls. Yep. Let's see a power off stall. Power off stall. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna set up like we're landing. Yep. For that kind of stall. Go ahead and uh, get to seventy six. About 76 now. So power off stalls is uh, I pull the power and pitch up, right? Okay. Gillespie County traffic, Bonanza 9 or 4 here is where the active. Positive rate. Positive rate. 
Positive rate. Okay, so first off, your procedures are all over the place on this one. My controls real quick. Your controls. First off, make sure you maintain your heading. So, right now we're on a heading of 060, I've picked something off in front of me. If you keep your eyes outside, that'll help you a lot as you're setting up, because you basically drifted around 20 uh, degrees. So we got my nose off, I'm uh, taking back the power again. 15 to 17 to help us slow down. One, two, and three. Now, the 70 is good, because that's about the speed that we approach at, right? Right. Except rather than adding power, we're going to treat this like we're actually coming into land. So I'm basically coming into land. I've got my power pulled. There we go. 70 knots, short final. We've got the runway right in front of me. The yep. exact same way we would normally land. Now, as I pick the nose up, just a little bit of rudder, and just barely above it. So i got my hand on the throttle right here. Any second now we're going to get a stall. Not much, just looking off at my nose. We're actually waiting for the stall. There's a stall warning horn, a little bit of a buffet. And there's the stall. See how that nose dropped? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to relax, full throttle, and third knots of flaps immediately. And then I'm basically going to pitch up. Now, now I'm looking for positive rate. So that third knot comes out immediately, not, uh, not when you get positive rate. Because that third knot causes a lot of drag and not very much uh, lift. Okay. So it helps to slow down a lot. But unless we're in ground effect, it's pretty detrimental. And again, positive rate. Take out that last one. Okay. okay. Your controls? My controls. Your controls. Do that. Tank one three traffic. Uh, Gulfstream five one two Romeo and Juliet. Taking runway three two. Be north departure. Gulfstream County. Coming in to land. Yep. At 70. Yep. And now I'm going to take the power off. Yep, take the power off like we're short final, like we got the runway right in front of us. Lift up. Give just, a little right rudder. Yep, and just barely just barely keep that nose up. See how that nose is kind of yeah. drifting to the left? Left yeah. rudder, left rudder. Control with the rudders. Yep. There we go. Right here. Any second now we're going to get a drop. There yep. it is. All right. Good, relax. Full power, take the first one out. And start pitching back, start pitching back, start pitching back. back. Pitch back, pitch back. back. Because you want to get that positive rate. Yep, positive rate. No, wait, 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 wait. Didn't quite have it yet. Okay, now we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, don't look at vertical speed. Don't look at vertical okay. speed. Look at your uh, altimeter. Okay. Altimeter will give you it uh, before the vertical speed does. Okay. Okay, so that's the way I want it done. Um, nice, smooth. Um, everything kind of flows together. You've got the power setting in. You still need to remember, use your rudders. Use right. your rudders, because even when we started drifting to the right, your first instinct was to swing with, with the uh, left aileron, and that didn't do much. Right. So we need that rudder. So go ahead and maintain 4,000 for me. Okay, now. Let's do it one more time. This time use those rudders, and basically just do it. And uh, okay. now, another thing. You got the stall? You got the stall good. Now, as you relax, full throttle, third knots of flaps, about by the time you do that, you need to start pitching back. Okay. Because uh, we don't want to go too. There you go. Good, good, okay. good. I'm at 70. Yep, you got that good glide. Yep. Kind of got something off our nose we can kind of use. Yep. There you go. Good rudder, good rudder. Second that nose dipped a little bit to the right, you immediately put it in. Good, I like it. I like it, I like it. There you go, good. There it is. Yeah. Now. You don't need to throw it down. Okay. Just relax. Like, you see mine? We're already up at 77. Um, the plane can climb at VX, 60. Right. Um, we've also got a, a bunch of flaps. So don't be, you know, take that plane back up. We are simulating that we are, you know, like 50 feet above the runway. Right. If you throw your nose down, it's the, well, you're going to throw it straight down into yeah. the ground. Yeah. So just relax a little bit, kind of like I did. Where the nose didn't drop that much, just a little bit relaxed, full throttle and third notch of flaps. Okay. So, relax, don't push down. Okay. Now, uh, let's see a power on stall. Okay. Power on would be on takeoff, right? Yep. All right, so I'm going to get down to my uh, takeoff speed, right? At 70. Okay. About a five-mile straight in runway 30, Kerrville. And then no flaps, take off. Okay. 
runway. Make sure you're looking outside as well, not just inside. Yep. It'll help you with your drift. All right. All right, I've got 70. Okay. So power on stall is going to be... Get rid of some of that power. Power on stall. Ready? Now, what's your airspeed doing? It's not dropping. Okay, then what does that mean you need to do? Take out power. No, back pressure. Get that nose up. Okay. It just seems, I've never, this thing's a rocket ship. I've yeah, never had yeah. to go that high before. Well, hey, t typically between 15 and 20 is where it stalls. So look, look, at you, look at that. We still need to come back. That was not a stall. That was just a little bit of back pressure. Keep it back, keep it back. Back a little bit more. Again. <laughs> Getting it right here. There's that back. There's the stall. And you can see that nose coming down. Okay. Again, we don't need to throw it down. It's back to the horizon. Look at your speed. We got all the way to 90 and we're still descending. All that's wasted. We want to just bring it back down. So real quick, my controls again. Your controls. Here we go. Again, you also had a little bit of a drift. I want you to keep your eyes outside, especially when setting up. So. We've got out here. We're going to get back on a heading of 060. Come on. Now, we're at uh, around 4,300. Now, I'm not. I'm going to try my best not to lose any uh, altitude, so I'm just going to keep on slowing down until I've got it. Basically, my nose is starting to get higher and higher. There's 70 knots. So I'm going to go ahead, full throttle, a little bit of right rudder, and start bringing it up. Now, the plane typically stalls between around 15 to 20, sometimes a little bit past 20 on uh, basically uh, cold days like the winter. So, you know, again, keep it up, keeping it up. There's some buffets. Stall one horn's going. And then right here, we're about to get it. There's the stall. So I'm just going to relax. Bring it right back down to the horizon. Okay. And that's it. I didn't drop the nose. I didn't have anything extreme. And yet, right now, basically holding 4,500, didn't really drop. We can even get a little bit of a climb out of it. Okay, okay. your control's back. My controls. So, the biggest thing is just like with the power off stalls, don't shove it forward. Okay. Just kind of relax it. Don't need to throw it down. All right. We got some traffic up ahead. Yeah, but they're uh, below us for 800 feet. They're plenty far enough away. Yeah, they're 10 miles out. We're fine. There's one guy that's 100 be below us. Oh, behind us? Oh, that's us. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. Get down to 70 at 6. Oh, God, that's weird. <laughs> it's like a us and another timeline. All right, I'm at 70, full power. Right rudder. Traffic, Exojet 784 is turning final, runway 30. There you go. Keep that nose up. We, we still haven't stalled. Oh, okay. Keep that nose up. Again, it's it's basically going to happen around 20 on these cold days. So keep that pitch up there. May even need a little bit more. There we go. There See how goes. that nose is dropping? Yep. Just relax. Okay. And keep that back pressure. And keep that back pressure. Yep. Don't want to descend. Right now we're dropping a little bit. There we go. That's that simple. Okay. If you do a little bit calmer, you'll you'll find that hey, the whole thing kind of becomes a little bit simple and a little bit smoother, and that's what we're looking for. Okay. Okay. Now, let's do some uh, steep turns. Okay. Um, there's a lot of traffic around here. Can we? You can do whatever you want. I think we're okay. Yeah. Um, to a clearing turn first, though. Okay. 
Can I go ahead and clear 180? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and climb up to 5,005. 5,005. Alright, I'm going to clear, I'm going to do a 180 clear. Eh, kind of keep going. So we'll just be close to Georgetown when we're ready to finish. So just do a 90 degree turn and then back to 060. Okay. That traffic will be well out of our way. Okay, I don't see anyone in the... I don't either. The Let's get back to... Yeah, so now. All right. Maintain 5,005, that's the altitude we're going to do our steep turns at. Okay. A steep turn to the left first. Okay. And on this, the steep turn, it's between that... It's 45 degrees, so you can actually see we've got these little 45 degree markers yeah. on there. So that's what we'll be using. Okay, because on the other one it was yeah. like past that. Yeah, on the other ones it doesn't have that 45 degree marker. Um, I think only on this one and 3 HLA Tango it's got it. I don't think any of the other ones have a 45 right. degree marker. So 5,005? Yep. What's your uh, bank at? Less than 30 right now. Let's get it going. Oh, I thought that was... It's uh, this one here. This is the 45. Oh, that one. Now, what should about your sight line look like right now? It should be like right with the cowling, about where it is now. About right now, what you should be seeing is your nose about right on the horizon. The nose of your aircraft looking straight at it. Okay. Oh, and by the way, where are we, when are we going to stop turning? Okay, we're getting, you want to go to the right now? Well, I mean, I. Uh, ha, ha, how oh, many degrees okay. should we be going for a steep turn? Okay, uh, let's, let's stop. Let's level off for a second. Let's get back up to 5.5. Five. Let's talk for a second. Number one, I need you to do this visually. Because you're keeping your eyes inside here. You're looking at the inside as you're starting it. So the first step I want you to do is I want you to look out. Find something easily identifiable that you can use as a marker. We've got, we can use like Travis over there if you've got a certain bend you like. Over in that direction, we've got, uh, what is that, Lake uh, Buchanan. We've got uh, the shorter one over there, the smaller one. I don't remember what lake that is, but basically by Horseshoe Bay. I just want you to have some type of visual reference that way you can use to get back down to 5,005. Okay. Hell, we even got that quarry right there. Any of these will work. I just need you to have something visually that you can look around for. All right, I'm gonna use the quarry as my reference point. Okay. And then do you want me to do left or you want me yeah, to Yeah, I want you to do left. Them? And okay. you don't have to go immediately into them. What I want you to do is do a left, a full 360, come back, level off, and basically recollect yourself. And then okay. after you've got everything back, we'll do one to the right. Okay. We'll just right. take them all one at a time. 5,500. Remember, that nose should be right on the horizon. Yep. Right now, you got your nose a little bit low, so you're going to be yep. descending. There you go. 2,300 inbound landing at Skylar. We're going down for uh, 1,600. Keep that bank in, getting a little bit shallow, a little bit more bank. Okay. Now, if you're a little bit high, don't mess with trim so much, just push the plane down. Okay. This is a cruise maneuver, you want to go down, just point the plane down. Okay. There's our uh, 
Reference point, well, uh, I was going with that. Well, either way, we've got the quarry over there and we've got the lake at where about you started. Yep, okay. Okay. Now let's Out go do it to the right. Now this is where it's going to about line up with your cowling. Right. So right now you got your nose loose. Okay, there we go. Watch your bank. We need a little bit more steep. There you go. Right now we're about 100 feet high, so I want you to just push down. Push that nose down, and we'll descend. Now, bring it right back up to a level flight. So right back up to around there. If you know what level flight looks like about, this is really easy, because all you have to do is put your nose there, and that's it. Right now we still got our nose a little bit low. We need a little bit more back. Just pick, the, pick your nose up and put it there. And there's our lake and our quarry. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that you're doing right now is you're messing a lot with throttle. And that's making it hard for you to make all these small uh, decisions. I'm worried about overstressing the plane. And you're not going to overstress the plane. We're built, like, you, you can do whatever you want, like right now. You want to jerk back? Ooh. That's going to still be perfectly <laughs> fine. Don't worry about overstressing the plane. Oh, You're going to be perfectly fine, okay? Right. Don't worry about it. You weren't even in the yellow arc. You were semi-close to it, but it's not going to be an issue. Okay. Okay. So, the biggest thing that, that you need to do with that is treat it like a cruise maneuver. You're messing with throttle, trying to ma mess with your altitude up and down, and you've got yourself preoccupied. The biggest thing you need to do is look at it and look outside. Find that good spot, that visual. When you're on, when you're in a turn to the left, it'll be that nose usually right above the horizon. And when you're to the right, that's when you're on the high side and it looks a little bit different. Well, you'll have it kind of cutting through your cowling there. So, that's the stuff you got to work on. Um, and again, a lot of this I'm going to say is coming from not looking outside. You're missing your, you're missing your visual cues as you're coming around. You're missing your reference point that you're swinging back on. And even in the uh, stall setups and the slow se uh, flight setups, your issue isn't anything other than just a little bit of left and right drift. And that's all because you're not looking outside. I can see your eyes, you're constantly looking back at your instruments and stuff like that. You can kind of get away with it for slow flight, but for stalls and other things, you need to be looking outside, especially as you're setting up. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go out a little bit further um, before I cut your engine because... I don't want to be uh, around Spicewood right here, especially when they got someone in the pattern. But another thing it seems to be is just a little bit of procedure here and there. Um, procedure and looking outside. That'll help you out. If you can kind of narrow down the procedures and get everything smooth, then that's good. Because even with the stalls, almost all of them have been a little bit shaky on how to set them up. But the second I demonstrate it, you're flying it fine. You're flying it perfectly. Yeah. And it's just getting that procedure and putting those barriers in your head to basically those steps. Uh, individualizing, okay, this is slow flight, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm trying to kind of associate everything coming back with it. Like slow flight, how we're doing our uh, 70 knot glide coming in, like we've got the runway right in front of us, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Uh, got a lot to work on. <laughs> yeah, but hey, I'm, I'm giving you as much type of uh, things that you can look at and things that you can work on on your own. Because right. I'm seeing a couple key problems that if you address that, it's going to make your flying much better. Um, mainly looking outside, and the stalls already got a little bit better. And even then, I'm just like right now, right in stalls. Relax, yeah. don't throw the nose down. That'll help, that'll help a lot of your recovery. It's not going to be as violent. Going back. But again, pretty much after all of them, after we did it once, or after I did it once and walked you through it, you did it fine again. Uh, you know, if you pull my engine here, I'm going to land at that runway. I know you are, which is why I'm not going to do it. <laughs> because, yeah, um, there's there's traffic at Spicewood, and, you know, I know you're going to make it. And, uh, man, I actually heard recently about a, uh, a flight instructor actually lost his uh, license to instruct because he did that. Oh, because really? he did a simulated engine, um, there ended up something, I, I, I don't even think an incident happened. I think someone just complained about him and reported it into the FAA, FAA because he wasn't uh, entering the right way and created a traffic hazard. 
And then oh. apparently they took his license away, or took his CFI away. I don't know if they took his license away. And they took his CFI away because he technically didn't have anything wrong with the plane, so he still should have entered the right way. Oh. Which is something that, in my opinion, is pretty garbage. I don't like that, but still. But honestly, other than an airport, all I see is trees. Yeah, I know, and that's kind of why I'm waiting for you. Uh, because there really isn't anything out there except for spicewood. <laughs> that's I mean, what, too easy. What's, what's safer, water landing or trees? Um, <laughs> probably, probably water if you can uh, swim, right? I, I mean, the water, the problem is, is the second you touch down, you're rolling, or you're cartwheeling. Yeah. Like, there's no way around that. You, we, we can't pick up the gear or anything like that. You, you're, you're just cartwheeling. Uh, trees... Um, well, hey, you won't cartwheel, but you stop real fast. Um, yeah. What's your landing roll distance? So, I don't know, 10 feet? <laughs> uh. Go ahead and give me a turn to the north. Turn to the north? Yeah. There's some fields over there. We can at least make that kind of work. I was going to land in one of those uh, sand pits. <laughs> I mean, maybe, actually. That might work, I mean. That'd slow you down real fast, too. Yeah, I see some fields out there. A lot of red. <laughs> yeah. So you saying I'm not going to be ready in January? <laughs> no, I'm saying you are. But at the same point, all of this stuff, again, it's uh, things. And in fact, uh, the big thing that I, I would push with uh, steep turns right now is put yourself in a steep turn. Put it in left, uh, basically a left steep turn, and just keep it in until you finally, until you get what the uh, sight picture looks like for uh, level flight, to where you can kind of freeze your altitude, and then just kind of pay, pay attention to that. In fact, that's the biggest thing I just got underlined and set up. Um, same with the right. Once you got it down with the left, do it to the right. Find out that picture, that sight picture that gives you that level flight. Because once you know that, and once you can easily identify that, the maneuver becomes so much easier. Because any time that, oh, wait, I need to lose an engine, or, or I need to climb or descend, all that you're going to do is you're just going to immediately, hey, descend, okay, I'm at my altitude, bring it right back up to level flight, and you're good. It's cruise flying, right? So you want to go up, you point up, you want to go down, you point down, you want to go level, you point level. It doesn't really matter what airspeed you're at, you'll be basically flying level. Okay. Yeah, I think there might be some fields around here. That's, uh... Let's see how this one goes. 
Okay, traditional, engine out. All right, I want to aviate first, so I'm going to pitch for Escalide, 76. Right. Best glide, 76 now. Now I want to uh, navigate. I want to find a place to land. And see a bunch of fields down there. I see a huge one right there. Okay. That's the one I want. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and aim for that big field with the water down there. So okay. Put the one to the right of it. Sure, sure, sure. Just go for it. And we know the winds are at 3.6, so I'm dead on for setting up for that. Okay. Now I'm going to inspect, and I'm going to look, switch my tanks. How long, we've, how long has it been since we switched it's tanks? It's time to switch the tanks. Time to switch the tanks for sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Make sure that as we do our gumps and our clearing turns and all that stuff, make sure that we actually look at our timer. So I switched my tank. Still nothing. Fuel pump's on. I'm going to try to start it. Still things aren't working, so got to still pitch. Although I'm going to be too, if I keep pitching for 76, I'm going to miss Make your field. Hold. Altitude's Make your friend. You can always uh, do S turns or even circle around. Okay. Don't be, uh, you, you've got flaps if you need them too. Biggest thing with flaps is sometimes they, uh, you know, once you put them in, you can't go back. Right. Yeah. In fact, I'd much rather pick a, uh, a field that's too close because I can always just kind of move stuff around and get there. Okay, so that's the field I want. Now I'm going to um, communicate 76 or 770, Georgetown, engine out. i got a problem. Uh, I'll call you when I'm on the ground. And I'm going to open that door. Okay, you're going to tell Georgetown that? Oh, 122.5. Uh, I'm just going to announce it on 122.5. Well, no one's going to listen to you if you're on 122.5. Oh, isn't that the emergency channel? That is not. It's 121.5. Oh, 121.5. Okay. So what else do we need to do? So we've got the radios in. we got the radios in. We've Now we're going to start shutting things down. Okay. So Should we do something else first? Open the door, right? Well, I mean, we can open the door at the very end. What about your transponder? Oh, I said it. Uh, what about oh, did you? Uh, what are you setting it to? Seven, seven, okay, well then I missed yeah, that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Go ahead and walk me through your uh, flow for shutting down. Huh? Walk me through your uh, secure flow. You already talked about shutting everything down. Walk yeah, me through shut it. everything down. Fuel pump, gas off. So this field we're trying to make? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to uh, turn off. If we're trying to make that field, don't you think we're a little bit high? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so then let's, uh, well, we, I mean, we could always do a 360. Well, we could do like a little bit 80. Yeah, you can fly outbound a little bit. That's kind of what I would do. That traffic right there, no no factor. And uh, I've shut everything down. Gas off. Um, now, have you ever actually? Off. Now, now a uh, question for the on the ground. Have you ever actually shut down the uh, gas? No. Turned it off. Okay, when we get on the ground, I want you to remind me of that, because I want to show you that. All right, well, we're not landing here, right? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but at the same point, I want, to, I want to believe that you would, because right now we're still a bit high, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of continue the S-turns. I like it. I want there to be no doubt in my mind. I mean, honestly, we can land anywhere on this runway, right? Or anywhere in this field. So we don't have to have a specific thing lined up. We can do plenty of time with our uh, stuff. And then I would go ahead and turn inbound right. and then kind of line up again. Okay. But yeah, see how we can do all this? Now I want you to go around. Hey, you see that tower? Oh, yeah. Don't hit that tower. As you're climbing, give me a right turn back to the south. Okay, now I'm thinking, let's see, what is around elevation here? One, two, thirty. Go ahead and climb me up to around uh, 2,000 feet. Okay. And then uh, we're going to do some uh, ground reference maneuvers. Now, how do we need to start a ground reference maneuver? Level off at 2,000. What do we need? Yep. 
we need a reference point, like maybe that. Well, how do we start? Well, we're getting into civilization. Should we move out? We're not. Are we high enough? What's the ground elevation there? Yeah, it's around, uh, around, uh, I'd say around, uh, 600, uh, 800 above. First off, whenever we start a ground reference, we need to be, we need to start on the downwind. So let's go ahead and get on the downwind. Okay. So where's the wind coming from? Wind's coming from the north. Okay. So, so what heading do we need? We need to go towards the south. Yeah. Now, you mess with power a lot. I want you to put in around 21 to 23. And then take your hand off it. Okay. Level off. Put your nose where you want it. Right now you got the power a little bit high. Take it back a little bit. 20. There you go. Around there. Don't touch the throttle. Okay. Get your All hand right. off the throttle. Trim the plane out for level flight. Ground reference. If you can get the plane trimmed out, it makes the rest of your maneuvers, the rest of or all of your other maneuvers, much, the much tower easier. Ahead. Yep. Should be below us. Let's see. That is... Yeah, over 500 feet below us. I still don't like it. I'm turning. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't you go ahead and hold off at uh, 2200. Okay. So climb up to 2200 and then level off. Elevation here seems to be around 1000. Okay. Now... Okay. We're on a south heading, right? Yep. So now, what I want you to do is I don't want you to set anything up. I want you to look off your left and find a point and do turns around a point. Just look off your left. Okay, I'll pick the tower. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. I mean, it's a big enough point, right? Yep. All right. Now keep your heading. Okay. Keep yourself at 2,200. My steepest turn because of the winds pushing. I gotta shallow it out a little. Yep. Now, do you think we got closer or further? We got closer. Okay. I didn't shallow it out soon enough. Okay, so not too bad. We got a little bit uh, too close to it on a point, but otherwise not bad. Let's go ahead and exit back on the downwind. Now. Oh, on the, we're on the downwind. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, that's not a bad way to do it. I do it a slightly different way. Um, basically using points on the ground. If you want to try that, um, basically it's real easy. Again, look off your left. Let's find something we can use. Oh, man, there's really not anything, is there? Just a bunch of trees. Yeah. 
Uh, well, anyways, right there. Uh, further. See that clearing right there with yeah. a little bit of trees in it? Yeah. That's what I'm going to use. So right here, I'm going to use this point right here, right okay. off my wing right about now. So now, I'm going to see, okay, I'm about this far away. What can I fly over? I'm going to say, okay, over there. Looks like a, I don't know, big white building. I'm going to fly over that big white building and basically keep myself the same distance away. Basically, by, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using ground reference points um, in order to fly my ground reference maneuver. Because that, for me, is much easier. It does a couple things. Number one, I'm not actually fixating a ton on my point because now yeah. I'm fixating on my other point. Now, uh, it also keeps me up and moving and turning ahead and looking ahead because I am trying to figure out where exactly I am and what my next point's going to be. So, okay, I'm over here now. Now I'm thinking, okay, some of those houses over there that I can kind of see, I'm going to make that out. Now, I will say, good job on trimming the plane. It's very nice. So I don't really have to do much work with that. Just every now and then glance out and do a little bit more. Now, into the wind, a little bit shallower. Not too much. I've still got that point kind of a little bit off. Yeah, this is a lot easier out to the east, not out to the west. There's a bit more uh, fields and stuff you can pick. Yeah. But again, same kind of thing. I'm just kind of looking at these uh, buildings that I'm looking at. Okay. Well, here's my clearance. And now I'm going to be looking again. We're out in front. And I'm going to say, okay, uh, let's say, eh, again, I think that one, I think I got a, bu a building that catches my eye that kind of is showing right in the sun that I'm going to try and aim for. So right now I am the shallowest I'm going to be, So, but I'm also being extra shallow so that way I can actually make my point. I've still got a slight bank in, but you can see I've basically only got around uh, 10 degrees in. And I'm coming back. Still, because I'm going to try and make my point. Now I can't even see my point anymore. Because, I, I see it, yeah. Uh, That's like right down there. Oh, uh, no, no, it was over off my left wing. Oh. Oh, well, oh, that was like the point I'm going for. Yeah. I can't even see that anymore, but I know it's somewhere around here. So now, I'm going to look back, but I can't even see the point that I'm looking for anymore. Oh, I, I got it again. I'm going to go ahead and kind of keep it coming. And now I'm going to start, okay, looking back ahead again, find another point that kind of fits me the same direction out. So I'm going to say, okay, that house, that looks about good, so I'm going to go for that house. Another one. Typically, you can use stuff like fields or, uh, you know, houses, roads. Granted, here, we don't really have that point, but at the same point, you can always kind of make do with what you got. Yeah. Well, let's swing it right around here. It's prettier flying out here, though. Yeah, it is. It's much prettier out here. Coming back. And then, basically, I'm about to come back on the south, exit on the downwind. And that's that. So that's my method of doing it. I find that easier for me and a bit more straightforward. Uh, but anyways, your control's back. My control's. Okay. And it looks like, according to this, we may have a road coming up. Let's use that road for turns around a point. Actually, we the can road fly. right below us. Uh, can you use it? I can. Okay, well, if you want to try it, let's go ahead and do it. Go for it. S turns, you said? Yep. So now, this is the method I want you to use for this one. Go ahead and put in a left 30 degree bank once we cross the road. Well, we already did. Okay, well, let's just... Go ahead and do it. Yeah. Okay, now, this 30 degree bank is purely just a test to see how far out you're going to push. Now... As we're doing this, this is around the halfway mark. Let's go ahead and start shallowing out a little bit. But see how far we got pushed out? Yeah. We want to go at least that far out on the next one. So then keep it shallow enough to where we can make it. Now, we ended up kind of overshooting it a bit, so we're going to have to be extra shallow. Yeah, this road's not the greatest. Yeah, it's not the longest, but I don't know if there's anything else we can really do out here. Just kind of make it shallow, make it extra shallow. Because we can at least kind of fix this one and kind of sh right. turn it out. It's always easier to fix too shallow than it is to fix too steep.
There we go. I like it right here. Now, what you're going to do is make the other one look the exact same. So go ahead and put in a nice shallow turn here. And we want to go out just as far as we were before. Now, of course, if we do this right, then all this means is that if we go out the right amount of distance, then all we're going to have to do is put in a uh, right 30-degree uh, bank, and then we'll be done. Okay, okay I'd say that's about good. Let's go ahead and put in a 30-degree bank. All right. You can't really have the best view of it, but hey, yeah. this is what we've got. Now, we do this right. We've got the road kind of coming up right there. Yep. Ideally, we should just smoothly hold it. I may need a little bit less. And right there, end of the wind. Okay. Now, I want you to take a look at your altitude, though. Yeah, I'm 2100. You know why that happened? Because the second we finished our S turns, you put, reached for the throttle and you took a little bit out. Because of that, the trim, the plane was no longer trimmed perfectly. Oh, we ended I up dropping. I, I thought I added throttle. Yeah, yeah, you removed a bit. Um, Again, don't touch the throttle. You're doing ground weapons, don't touch the throttle. Okay. Anyways, go ahead and take me back to Georgetown. All right. At no point should you have to touch it, and the more you, fit, the more you mess with it, the harder it's going to be to fly it. Right, I got you. So on my solos, I should be practicing this stuff. Yeah, and that, that's what I'm trying to give you. So, it turns around a point weren't bad. You can see the differences. It was yours, there's mine. Um, oh. Going at it. Uh, uh, so yeah, keep all that stuff in mind. Uh, you can try my method. Personally, I like that. I like to teach it. I have much better success my method. I am not good at looking at the point and just flying it perfectly. And also out to the east, it's a lot easier too. Um, you can kind of experiment with it. But for the S turns, I recommend you use my method with the 30 degrees bank for the first turn. And then make sure you go at least that far out on the second one. Um, that has been the most consistent way I've gotten students to get it right. Um, but yeah, nonetheless. Trim the plane, don't touch throttle. Okay. If I can hammer anything that, it's it's that. Georgetown, I need this information. Victor, time two two five zero. Wind three six. 
Yeah. This is Bill one zero miles. Sky clear. Temperature one tray, two point five, altimeter three zero two niner. Visual approach, runway three six in use. Bird advisories are in effect. VFR craft advised on initial contact, direction of departure. Advise you have a dis Victor. Tourist on our aid is information Victor time two two five zero zero weather wind three six zero six visibility one zero miles sky clear temperature one tree two point five altimeter three zero two niner visual approach runway three six in use bird advisory. We gonna do a full stop. Yeah. All right. I don't want to be. I don't want you to be too late for your party. All right, we can practice more. I got plenty of time. Yeah, but I'm giving you all this whenever we're done. Okay, cool. Because I want you to keep in mind. You know, next time you show up, you can look at this. Say, okay, get this, get this, get this. This is the stuff I specifically want you to work on. Georgetown Tower. Good evening. Archer 8414 Yankee holding short of 36. We'll stay in the pattern. November 8414 Yankee Georgetown Tower hold short runway 36 landing traffic. We'll be holding short of 36. But nonetheless, I don't think we ever talked about that. That was a very good uh, emergency. Good field oh, choice, thanks. good flow. Um, now, typically, I would like you to do a little bit of a mayday, like mock call, kind of tell them where you're at. Right. Mainly because where the hell are we right now? Yeah. yeah how, how are you going to tell them, hey, this is where we're at? And that's kind of one of the things I want you to keep in mind. Right. But um, the flow was good. The point was good. Um, you were a little bit kind of uh, lost for a second there on how to get down. But S turns, you saw that flaps yeah. jump them in. We could have yeah. even slipped if we needed to. But personally, I don't even like to slip. I just like to do S turns and kind of. We did at one point go outbound to come back in. Good. Okay. Well, let me make my yep. radio call. That's all. Be quiet. Georgetown Tower, Archer eight two five five four. Eight miles to the southwest. Would like to land full stop. November 82554, Georgetown Tire, Roger, Squawk 0622. Squawk 0622, 82554. Okay. But hey, make these soft make make the soft field look extra pretty. Just adding a zero nine zero for sequence. Did he call? Zero, zero nine zero for sequence. Zero nine zero for sequence. Eight, eight two five five four. In Cherokee five five four, amend that. You can see direct the airport uh, runway three six uh, runway three six cleared to land. That was. Yep. Clear to land runway three six. Eight two five five four. Okay, well now he wants you to head direct to the airport. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe he's telling you to clear to land. What are we? Okay, five and a half. That's not too bad. Now we're further away. Oh, okay, man. That's right here, right? Yeah, I actually lost the airport for a second. I couldn't find it. Yeah, uh, I thought it was out further. This yeah. way and then left yeah. base, right? Yep. So we can just kind of come in. Yeah, just like that. In November 8414 Yankee, Georgetown Tower, you'll follow the PA-28 in the upwind, make right traffic. Runway 36, cleared for takeoff. Right traffic, clear takeoff, 8414 Yankee. That's like Georgetown, right? Yep. All right. Just make sure. Get the airport inside. I think it's right there. It's it is not. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... God. I'm like, why don't I see it? 
Oh, uh, yeah, I, saw, I thought the same thing a second ago. <laughs> like, I'm, whenever we were I'm, pulling I'm, up to I'm it, I'm yeah. glad you, like, helped me out on that. Anyways, make it pretty. Uh, keep that wheelie in. I want Tower to be impressed with you. He'll come back and be like, man, that was a sexy wheelie. Ooh. Get them all flustered. They won't be able to give you a call back. November 3, 1 kilo. I like how it's too high. Three, November 3, 1 kilo. You're number 2. You're following the I mean, if you're too high, all you got to do is move some power. Simple as that. Yeah, I got the power. November 3, 1 kilo has uh, traffic in sight. Number 2. And what else can help us get down? Number 3, 1 kilo. Affirmative number 2. Flaps, but I'm not in flap range. range. Well, why don't you get there? Number 2, clear uh, to yeah. go for 3, 6. November 3, 1 kilo. Yeah. We don't need to pick up. We just need to kind of level off. Okay. That'll stop you from doing, like, that kind of uncomfortableness. Right. There we go. Yeah, and this is still a nice approach. Yeah. Oh man, we still get sunset too. Ooh. Georgetown okay. Tower, Sierra 542, Papa Golf. We are currently uh, 11 miles, about 12 miles uh, south, southeast, uh, inbound Victor, full stop. Zero five four two Papa Golf George on tire Roger Squawk zero six two one zero six two one two Papa Golf. This is doing a normal landing, right? Uh, soft field. Oh, soft field. Yeah, that's why as you do that wheelie, get it nice and smooth. Okay. There's four uh, corrections. There's two Papa Golf for a uh, three mile straight in runway three six. Report uh, three miles straight in three six two pop golf. Eight four Yankee right midfield. In November one four Yankee, you're number two, following the PA twenty eight a mile final, runway three six, cleared touch and go. Number two. Keep that nose wheel up. Keep that nose wheel up. Yep. Yep. A little bit more. There we go. Five five four. Turn right, Juliet. And uh, where are you parking? Right on Juliet. Uh, pilot's choice. Roger, Juliet. Alpha Alpha one. Pilot's choice. Monitor the ground. Alpha Alpha one. To pilot's choice. Monitor the ground. Eight two five five four. Yep. And keep it all the way back until we get past that whole short line. There we go. Okay. Okay. After landing checklist. And my controls. Oh, your controls. My controls. I'll go ahead and taxi this back. Go ahead and get the after landing checklist, though. Okay. Flaps need to come out. I know that. Okay. There's two Papa Golf. You're number two. You're following a PA 28 in the right base. Port the traffic to follow on site. Uh, about three miles in front of you. Base turn. Number two, two and looking for traffic. Two Papa Golf. And again, every time you turn the fuel pump off, also lean the mixture. Number two, clear two lane. Number two, clear to land, three six. Flaps retracted, transponder on standby. EFR, standby. Okay, lights is required. Okay. Right. Now, if you would, you want to go ahead and put the uh, uh, times in for me? What? Uh, you want to go ahead and get the times? Actually, your controls back. You can have the controls back. Your controls? My controls. Your controls. Inbound, three six. Cox 55211, George Hunter, enter the right downwind runway 36. Right downwind 36211. Uh, today's the 21st, right? I think it's the 21st. Yeah. Might not be the 21st, but I think it's the 21st. Okay. Thanks for coming in on your day off to uh, do this for me. Sir, Don't worry about it. I never did find that traffic. Are they landed? Uh, just about over the number, sir. You're fine. I just think. Do you Flying again on Monday, so I'll practice some of this stuff. Yeah, you better be practicing some of this stuff. Because the next time we fly, to, you know, have a, have a nice little bit of improvement and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Some things to work on, you got plenty. I got. <laughs>
So did I just suck that bad, or? Hey, yeah, all I'm saying is we got a way to fix it. Um, like I said, a lot of it was procedure, and hopefully we nailed down a bit of that procedure, and you can watch that. Because uh, right now, I think, uh, let's see. Oh, here, controls. No, I just want to <laughs> make this. Okay, my controls real quick. I think the only thing that would have passed was a uh, your soft fields today. Because the rest of it was just a little bit confusing here and there. Okay, engine shutdown checklist. I don't mean to like kill your bubble or nothing like that, but the rest of it was good. Oh, well, okay, your cross-country flying would have shined. That would have been great. Okay. Uh, but, uh, At least something. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, flaps retracted, electric fuel pump check off. Uh, radios and all electrical off. Yep. 